How many times have you competed and things went exactly the way you wanted? You had the meat that you wanted. Everything went smoothly. No one ever failed a lift. Yeah, that doesn't exist. According to Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. The best day doesn't exist. Why are you training to be good on something that just doesn't simply exist? You're wasting your time by perfecting your environment. You are coddling yourself by softening the blow. Powerlifting is not someone who asks you, can I do this? Let's use a little lube. Let's soften the blow. Let's give you some gentle kisses and, and mm, let's have a wonderful time. You are going to enjoy this experience. No, powerlifting says button up buttercup, bite the pillow, we're going in raw. Powerlifting doesn't care how you feel. The bar doesn't have feelings. So why should you feel anything? Why should you be manipulating the circumstances that you're you're competing in when you actually have no power to control the conditions on the platform whatsoever? Yeah, you can have the, your perfect nutrition, your perfect meal, your perfect intra training sour patch kids. You can coddle yourself in training, but when you step on the platform, it hits the fan. Your girlfriend gets mad at you because you checked some other chick out and she caught you staring too long. Your hotel doesn't have a refrigerator. So all those meals that you prepped, that you specifically found the micros and macros to give you the energy and power that you need, the sustenance that you need to perform on the platform. Yeah, you didn't plan for that. Oh, well, you got to go to the pizza place down the road, order a sub, and that's what you're going to be able to eat. You're not going to ever have the perfect day. So why are you training to have a perfect day? Powerlifting is not about perfect days. It's about pretty day for people. Powerlifting is a selfish sport. You're not sacrificing anything for anyone. You're pushing yourself to achieve your own goals. You're pushing things aside. It is a selfish sport, but we get caught up in this. I am more important. I need the perfect environment to train in. I need this specific bar. This person is using the bar. I'm going to sit around for 40 minutes and wait for this person to stop deadlifting with the kabuki bar that I can pull more on. This, despite the fact that I don't compete on a kabuki bar, the platform isn't going to have the exact same equipment that you train on. Chances are the equipment that you train on is used more than the stuff on the platform. Feds go out of their way to pick up, to collect new pieces of equipment so that we have brand new stuff to be competing on. Very high quality stuff, fresh brand new chef kiss perfect that's as close as you're going to get to perfect but the perfect scenario does not match up to your perfect scenario the way that you train will not match the way that you go on the platform the warm-up room will inevitably be overcrowded the warm-ups themselves are going to be a shit show because there's no rhyme or reason to the way that we go about warming up you're going to be stressed out you're going to forget to drink you're going to forget to hydrate you're going to forget to eat you're going to be you, there's going to be so much stress pent up in your stomach if you don't throw up did you really try hard enough did you really push hard enough chances are you didn't never prepare for a situation that will never happen the only situation that will never happen is the perfect day. Lifting the weight isn't the easy, isn't the hard part. It's the easy part. But putting three perfect lifts together, that's the hard part. You don't get to have a perfect day on the platform. That never happens. There is a less than 1% chance that you'll have a perfect day on the platform. What makes you think you are more special than the hundreds of thousands of lifters who are competing in powerlifting to this day? Don't get perfect days. You won't have a perfect day. So stop training like every single thing that you do is going to be perfect. You don't get to choose the music. So fuck off with your PR song. You don't get to choose how long you get in between each set. So fuck off with your procrastination between set. Reduce your rest time. Increase your rest time. It's never going to match what's going to happen on the platform. The vibe in your gym will never be equal to that of the platform because vibes are stupid. You should stop trying to pigeonhole yourself into these perfect scenarios. The weight doesn't care. The weight has no brand. 45 pounds is 45 pounds. It doesn't matter if it says Aliko or York on it. 45 pounds is 45 pounds. If your plates say Rogue, Ghost, Aliko, York, Standard, American, they all weigh the same. So really doesn't matter if any of the, any of your plates match. What matters is that you do the work. You keep focusing on the incorrect things to focus on. You try to give yourself the perfect training environment for the perfect powerlifting meet. The perfect powerlifting meet doesn't happen ever. So stop trying to push yourself to a perfection of 
circumstance because that just doesn't exist. You shouldn't be pushing towards the perfect music playlist. When I step onto the platform, I don't even know what song is playing. I usually go and I watch the video later and I'm like, damn, that song sucked. Why was that playing while I was lifting? That the music cut out and I squatted anyways. Like you don't hear the music when you're lifting. Stop pigeonholing yourself. You're limiting your potential by trying to produce these perfect scenarios in your training. Stop training to be the best on the best day. Rather, training to be the best when it hits the fan. When you don't get what you want. Ah, you're gonna compete on a kabuki, but six out of 10 times that you go to the gym, the kabuki is taken and you have to use a power bar or you have to use a Texas deadlift bar. They're both really good bar. You will gain on those bars. You don't need a kabuki to deadlift more. If you don't deadlift more than 900 pounds, the kabuki doesn't matter. Chances are it will never matter for you. So stop assuming that it is. It does. You're just being an ass to yourself, to your gains, and to the people in your gym. Because if if the more that you push towards your perfection, the more stressful that you are emitting, the, the, the more negative your gym vibe gets. We all know that gym vibes are stupid. So get off your ass and start training because the perfect day doesn't exist.